Hi class, Miss Beatty again. We are ready for our next story. It is also going to be an informational text, which means one, it's nonfiction. That means it is not made up, it's real life. Um, the information in it is real things that happen and that they want to teach you about. Um, this story is called Zinnia's Flower Garden. It is by Monica Wellington, and again, she is the only one listed, so that means she is the author because she wrote the words, and the illustrator because she did the pictures. I also have my flower chart ready to fill in my details on the petals and my main idea, either in the middle if I could fit it, or down here. So, here we go. Zinnia's Flower Garden. Oh my goodness, Zinnia's Flower Garden. We have a Zinnia. <laughs> These are Snapdragon and Zinnia seeds. There's our title page. She has some seeds. Oh, sweet pea and sunflower also. This is our table of contents. This is towards the front of the book and it tells us what is inside this book. If you look, there's Zinnia's flower garden, but it also has growing sunflowers story. We'll do that. We'll do that story the next. We'll do that story tomorrow. Let's see. Ooh. What do you think the story might be about? The title is Zinnia's flower garden. So what does that tell you? Hmm. Maybe there's a girl named Zinnia. Maybe she has a garden. This picture kind of tells you maybe those same things. If you see, she's got some gardening tools here. She's got a little plot over here that she might be making into a garden. Let's see. Spring has arrived. Zinnia is getting her garden ready for planting. She digs up the soil and turns it over with her shovel. She takes out stones and rakes the dirt smooth. The warm sun feels good as she works. Ooh, what do you think she might write in my garden journal? Hmm. There's Zinnia working in her garden. Why do you think she might want to be planting a garden? Hmm. Zinnia carefully plants many kinds of flower seeds in rows. She covers all the seeds with dirt and pats it all down very gently. She sprinkles the ground with water. May 3rd. Very busy planting my seeds today. Such hard work. There's sweet pea seeds, aster seeds, black eyed Susan seeds, cosmos seeds. Mm. Why does she put the seeds in and then cover them up with dirt and then put water on them? What does that tell you about what flowers need to grow? Zinnia waits for the seeds to sprout. The seeds need the sun to shine, the rain to fall, and many days to pass. It is hard to wait so long for her seeds to grow. Ooh, this is some science about clouds. Stratus clouds, see how it's kind of thin and flat? Cumulus clouds, kind of puffy. Cirrus cloud, they're really wispy. And nimbus cloud, that looks like a rain cloud. Ooh, down here, here's her next journal. It's kind of hard to see on my camera. May 12th, rain all day, ugh, but it is good for my garden. This page told you the seeds need the sun, they need rain, and they need time. 
see. Ooh, look. She doesn't look too happy, but she's watching, waiting for her seeds to grow. Every day, Zinnia checks her garden to see if anything has happened. Look, the first seedling is poking its way up through the dirt. Stages of germination. That means growing of flowers. There's a seed. There's a little, there's a sprout. There's a little seedling. May 20th, my first sprout today. Wow. Ooh, we need to fill in some details. So, flowers start as seeds was a good detail. What else? Ooh, let me look, let me look. Ooh, seeds. Go in the ground. What about the next one? What was it that seeds need to grow? Sun, water. They need soil because that's why they're in the ground. And time, right? Okay, let's look, oh look, here she is looking at her little seedling. Hmm. Now Zinnia's garden is full of green sprouts growing toward the sun. Little stems grow taller, little leaves get bigger, little roots burrow deeper into the earth. May 29th. Lots of sprouts now. I can't even count them all. How do you think she's feeling about her flower garden? She looks pretty excited. Sydney takes care of her garden every day. When the sun is hot and the soil is dry, she waters her thirsty plants. June 17. No rain for a week. My garden is so dry. There she is watering her garden. Ooh, that's a good one. When the sun is hot, gardens need water. Yep. Okay. Let's see what's on the next page. First thing in the morning, Zinnia runs out to check her garden. She is excited to see little buds growing on many of her plants. <gasps> July 18th. My Zinnias have buds. I wonder what color they're going to be. Look down here at the bottom. Do you remember our life cycle of the pumpkin? Here's another life cycle of the butterfly. Life cycle of the butterfly. Eggs. Caterpillar. Chrysalis. Adult. Ready to fly. There she is running out to check her garden. What color do you think her zinnias are going to be? Let's see. And then, at last, she finds what she has been waiting for. The first flower. One bud has bloomed. How beautiful and what a sweet smell. There are many more buds that will open soon. July 25th, my first flower today and lots more to come. Amazing, a big monarch butterfly landed on my finger. Why do you think butterflies come around flowers?
Oh, here's all the parts of a flower. Here's the pistil, the stigma, the style, the ovary, the sepal, the stem, the receptacle, the petal, the stamen. Oh, and there's the pistil again. That's the filament and the anther. Those are parts of the stamen right here. All those parts to make a pretty flower. There she is with her very first bud. Ooh, I think that could be a good detail. Flowers have many parts. I don't have room to write them all, but we could just put flowers have many parts. The garden grows and grows with blossoming flowers. Cynia paints, reeds, and picnics among them. Butterflies flutter, bees buzz. Cynia's garden is her favorite place to be on these warm summer days. August 11th. I love my garden. There she is with all of her beautiful flowers. That's a lot of hard work that she put in. Do you think that it would be that special? Do you think she thought it would be this special by the time she got done with all of her hard work? She was looking forward to a great garden and that probably made the work a little bit easier. Her flowers are abundant. And Zinnia cuts some to arrange into bouquets. The fragrant scents of the flowers swirl around her in the warm breeze. Abundant. What does abundant mean? Hmm. Cosmos, marigold, sunflower, snapdragon, zinnia, black-eyed Susan, sweet pea, sweet William, aster. Ooh, August 21st. My sunflowers are taller than I am. Oh, look here. There's her sunflowers that are taller than she is. Wow. One hot summer day, Cindy has a lemonade stand and puts up a sign. Pick your own flowers. Customers come and gather bunches of flowers and drop money in her jar. Don't forget to smell the flowers. August 28th. Busy today at my stand. Everyone loves my flowers. Ooh, look. Quarters. Nickels. Dimes. Four quarters make a dollar. One, let's see. One, two, three, four, five groups of four. Five, ten, twenty nickels make a dollar. A dollar is how many cents? 100 so 10 tens make a dollar 10 dimes make a dollar she even for all of her hard work making her beautiful flower garden made some money from it too pick your own flowers lemonade for sale so not only did she get to enjoy her beautiful flowers she got to make money for her work too in the autumn, as it gets colder, Zinnia picks the last flowers from her garden. She finds ripe seeds that have formed. They are ready to be collected. She will save them to plant next year. That sounds like a cycle that we know about. Because they planted, she planted the seeds. Then they grew into a seedling. Then they grew bigger. Then they got a bud. And then they made some more seeds to go around and around in a cycle. From flower to seed. Flower, the petals fall off, makes a little holder for the seeds, and then it drops out the seeds. Here's the stigma again. Maturing ovary, growing seed, stamen, sepal, stem, petal. October 13th, lots of seeds. I'll leave some for the birds. Birds like to eat seeds. Got a big sunflower. 
The winter days are short. The sun is dim and the ground is covered with snow, but Zinnia is already planning next year's garden. When spring comes, she will be ready to grow her very own flowers again. So here's in the spring, seedlings. Early summer, they're a little bit bigger. Midsummer, there's a little bit of buds on them. Late summer, there's the flowers. Autumn, there they are dropping their seeds. Winter, they're just sleeping if they're still in there. Here she is. She's planning her garden for next year in the winter. December 27th. I can't wait until spring. Okay, I think that is the last page. Yep, that's the last page. Oh, we need one more. Ooh, flowers. Flowers have a life cycle. Just like our pumpkins did. So, here's the details I got. Flowers start as seeds. Seeds go in the ground. Sun, water, and soil and time they need. When the sun is hot, gardens need water. Flowers have many parts, and flowers have a life cycle. What do you think that the story was trying to teach you? I think a good thing that it was trying to teach you is that... I'm going to go down here. Flowers... have a life cycle and need specific, that means certain specific things to grow. Just like in our last story, all the the living things needed different time and different food to grow. Flowers need specific things to grow too. I hope you have a good day. Talk to you next time.